Hello and welcome to something different. Today I'm playing the Hong Kong Massacre. Now this is a cool little game I've been wanting to do a video on for a good while now. I finally got off my backside and decided to try and do that. So for those of you who don't know what the Hong Kong Massacre is, it's genuinely one of the coolest top-down shooters out there today. And once I start playing it, you're going to see it also has a reference to a very famous movie that you might well, not might have. I don't. If you haven't seen the movie in question, well, what rock are you living under? So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go back to some of the starter levels and play through those just to show you what the gameplay is like. But this is genuinely one of the coolest games out there, and it's got such a cool dev team, it's got such cool publishers. It's genuinely one of the nicest games I've played in a long time. And I keep coming back because it's just that cool. Now, we're going to go to 1745. Got myself a gun. The tea house, U-Man Square. Okay. We're going to load into the level and see from there. Now, for those of you who might have played some similar games, one of the most common ones for top-down shooters is Hotline Miami. And this kind of does play like Hotline Miami, but it's so much cooler in its own way. Now, you got some basic weapons. I've already unlocked and upgraded every weapon to an extent. But we're going to start off with the basic pistol. Now the whole idea is, you take one bullet, you're dead. And you got the ability to do some of the coolest ducking and diving. Level cleared. Got that in 17 seconds. 24 shots, I missed 18. I've got to work on accuracy. Let's move to the next level. Death comes knocking at the door. This one's going to be fun. Pistol, shotgun, SMG, let's go pistol again. Surprise! Out the window with you, buddy. And there we go. My reaction time was way too slow to duck. Surprise! But you can shoot away the doors. Somebody's got a shotgun. Got him. And they got me. So it's a fun game. It's very fast paced. And it can be exceptionally challenging if you... If your reaction time is a little bit slow, but it is so much fun. Through the window. Whoa. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Gotcha. And I got him through the window. If you're looking for a game that's fun, you're going to get your blood pumping, I recommend this one. It's just tremendous fun. Number three, car trouble. At a car shop. Okay, for a change, we're going to start off this level running the shotgun. 
Only five rounds in the mag, but it's got that awesome spread. I got one round. Now I've got 30. Now I'm taking his buddy's, a his buddy's AK. Excuse me. Got him. Now this is one heck of a shady car shop. And they got me through the door. So you've got to play those angles. Got him. And slide him into a back wall. Got to watch those back slides. I got two for the price of one. Excuse me. But here's another feature that I do genuinely love with this game. Slow motion. Okay, I didn't use slow motion very well. I'm gonna ditch the shotgun, pick up a better weapon. Got him. I slide under. And get shot in the face. <laughs> so it's fun, it's, you're gonna die a bunch of times because not everything stays the same. Sometimes a character, sometimes the gangsters do behave a little different. They'll make one slight alteration that messes up your concentration. But when you get it flowing, not like that, but when you do the eventually get it flowing, you're going to be on a roll that nobody can stop. I think I got 100% accuracy there. And goodbye to 100% accuracy. Yows are these. Why is everybody trying to kill me so, so badly? Got him. Got him. I knew he was going to pass the window. Well, my aim's not perfect, but my accuracy did pick up until I picked up that automatic rifle. But if you're looking for a fun game, just something fun and exciting, it's available on Steam, and I do highly recommend this game. It's fun as hell, it's so cool. And I know for a fact if you like a basic shoot 'em up, even if it's top down, one that's going to keep you busy for a little bit, I do recommend this game. There are one or two issues you might find, but overall, it's a great game. An outstanding choice if you're looking for something fun. Anyways, I'm going to leave this video right here. I want to thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want, if you want to see me play more of this game, why don't you hit the like button? And leave a comment down below and I will see if I can play some more of this. Anyways, thanks for watching.